Now, when you're looking at desoldering through hole terminations, it's fairly straightforward. Uh, in a lead-free environment, we really should be using vacuum desoldering tools, not these very inexpensive manual uh, desoldering tools that are still used in the industry. They're certainly appropriate for single-sided boards, but really not for plated through hole. Um, when you're doing any desoldering operation, the key thing is making sure the soldering tools are working correctly and correctly maintained and cleaned. But if you're looking at desoldering boards that have been conformally coated, one of the things I tend to advise companies to do is clean the top side of the joint prior to doing the desoldering operation. And there's two reasons for that. If you've got an extremely thick conformal coating material or a very hard and rigid like an epoxy material on the top side of the joint, when you actually reflow the solder and actually pull the vacuum to suck the solder out, you've actually got a barrier which is stopping you sucking the solder out. So it will make the process a little more difficult to achieve. Now with other conformal coating materials, which are perhaps more soft and malleable, uh, you may well be able to still successfully desolder without cleaning the top side first of all. However, please remember that uh, the material you're sucking into your desoldering tool has to be cleaned out. And certainly when you've been doing quite a lot of desoldering with boards that have been conformally coated, uh, you will find a buildup of other material within the reservoir, the waste reservoir of your desoldering tool. So make sure A, you use the right tool, B, you make sure you clean the surface, the top surface of the board prior to desoldering a through hole if you're using conformal coating. But if you don't, please make sure you clean up the reservoir within uh, the cartridge of your desoldering tool uh, to make sure it's ready for the next person to use.